James Cherry uh, says, how do I get my videos to look like Lumpy or Vanover? Oh, another 20 pounds. James Cherry left 40 pounds and I ignored him for almost an hour. James, I'm so sorry and I hope you're still with us. Is James still in the chat? He is. James is still there. Um, James, what is it about Lumpy or Vanover's videos that you like? Like, for example, Vanover is using ND filters to get some blur, and that helps. But I don't know if that's what you're talking about. Let's, uh, Blunty, keep an eye out for James's answer. Uh, Mike Bergman, I've seen Lumpy's stuff. Uh, he's insane. Um, the cinematic look is probably that he's using ND filters. Uh, as far as color grading goes, uh, I rely on my editor to do my color grade. The stuff that comes off my GoPro looks not great, and well, there's a color grade on it, but I I don't do the color grading. I have an editor who knows how to color grade. If you look at the difference between my old videos and my today videos, you can see that my attempts at color grading were very bad. And, and my videos look a lot better now. I tagged his response there. Oh, thank you, Blunty. Uh, he says, I'm just playing. It'll never happen. Just like you discussed. Yeah. <laughs> um, Nicholas Puglio says, thank you um, uh, for fighting for a $5 super chat. Nicholas, uh, any advice for finding local pilots to fly with? Facebook groups haven't helped much. I'm in Lancaster, PA. Nicholas, um, I would look for a multi-GP chapter in your area. You may have to drive 45 minutes or an hour to get to where they are, but like uh, there's pro there, there's a fair chance because uh, Pennsylvania is not that big. Uh, there's a fair chance that like there's a multi-GP chapter somewhere within a reasonable driving distance of you that you could meet up with. Um, the other thing that I learned from interviewing the guys at Fly Tribe is if you want a local community and there is no local community, you need to be the seed for your local community. So you need to start a multi-GP chapter and register a multi-GP chapter. I don't think there are really any requirements for registering a tier one multi-GP chapter. If I'm wrong about that, the chat will let me know. But get your name out there. You know, Lancaster PA multi-GP racing. Um... And this is true. Like somebody says in the chat, Warrior Warrior Life FPV says, there's lots of FPV in, in Pennsylvania. Flew there this weekend near Scranton. So even if this, this advice holds for anybody, not just people who might have uh, somebody near them, um, make a Facebook group, Lancaster PA FPV Drone Racing. Just stuff it with keywords and keep it alive. And eventually one other guy will be like, oh, hey, I'm in Lancaster, I fly FPV, and they'll meet up with you. And now there's two. And eventually, with some luck, it might take six or nine months or a year, but eventually you'll you'll build a community. Dan Z points out that uh, Bach Grinders in Philly, right, Bach Grinders in Philly, has 90 minutes from Lancaster. There's gotta be people to fly with. You just haven't found them, dude. All right. Uh, F.P. Avery says, JB, I'm in your state for vacation this week. Any recommendations for flying spots in Tennessee? Thank you for a $5 super chat. I'm currently headed towards Knoxville. Uh, I don't know. I mostly just fly in my yard. Um, I would join the Knoxville FPV Racing Facebook group and say, hey, guys, I'm looking for somebody to give me some spots. That's what I would say. Thomas asks, I've got a video production company which has more clients asking for FPV drone work. Our pilot has part 107 cert. Our standard video production insurance does not cover anything drones. What insurance would you recommend people use for paid cinematic drone insurance? And there was a chat. Uh, yeah, Captain Kazi, who is a professional pilot, says Skywatch is the best insurance for 107 work. So Captain Kazi has earned that super chat, but uh, that just means I'll buy him a beer the next time I see him. Actually, I know what to do. Captain Kazi, here's how I'll thank Captain Kazi for fielding that question. Captain Kazi makes some of the coolest FPV t-shirts. 
I've bought several of them. I'm not wearing one right now, but um, Kat, his t-shirts are amazing. Uh, just they're they're kind of they're just clearly designed by a funny FPV pilot. Let's just show some of them. See what is this? I don't know, but I like it. Quadzimoto. Plug in on me. <laughs> no one will get this. Oh, I hate that color. No one will get this except you and your FPV friends. Right? If you're looking for FPV apparel. Captain Kazi shirts are the way to go. CaptainKazi.com slash apparel. There we go. Hopefully he sells enough t-shirts to uh, make up for the fact that I'm keeping that $10. LA Hover Bikes wants to know any HD gog box goggles that fit glasses. Um, like I, either the glasses are small enough to fit or they're not. Um, the Fat Shark Scout, I guess. I mean, HD is not, I mean, are you talking Walksnail? You're talking, uh, yeah. I don't think so. I think the answer is no, because even like the Fat Shark Scout, the glasses don't fit very well. So I would say no is the honest answer. If you have very small glasses, maybe. That's what I would say. Um... Coelho FPV, thank you for a $5 super chat. What's your recommendation on low-cost post-processing software for DJI O3 video? Coelho, what kind of post-processing are you asking about? If you mean stabilization, GyroFlow is free. But if you mean, if you mean like color grading, then DaVinci Resolve is free. Uh, if you're looking, I don't know what else you might be looking for. So let us know in the chat what else you might be looking for. I'll see if I can help. But DaVinci Resolve for editing and color grading and uh, GyroFlow for stabilization. Professor Biohazard, thank you for a $5 super chat, went to West Coast Throwdown and saw Street League for the first time. Any recommendations for a freestyle pilot who wants to get into racing? Professor Biohazard, do you want recommendations for a Street League build? I mean, I think you probably could do a lot. What what I would do is I would find someone else's Street League build and copy it. So, like, if I go to rotorbuilds.com and I'm just going to search for Street League and see what we find. So, here's a bunch of Street League builds. I'm just going to pick one of these that looks good and I'm going to copy it. Um, the 399 appeals to me because I, th I think I know that frame and I think that's a good frame. What frame? The practice rig. Yeah, I think this is, this Project 399 practice rig is a good Street League frame. 